Hi everybody, I'm the Reluctant Reviewer. And I'm QB83. And a while back someone asked if I could do something with Kelly's or show my Kelly's, um, which is a big undertaking. And as I've been moving them around, um, rubber bands have been falling out and they've lost their uh, baskets that they're carrying. So what I need is someone to make a nice big Kelly book that tells me mm -hmm. everything that goes with my Kelly so I can put them all back together again. That would be nice. Um, so I was going to go and think of the names, but there were way too many and I didn't have a really good Kelly guide to look yeah. at. As we said, no Kelly guidebook. No Kelly <laughs> guidebook. Um, but these are some of them and then I'm going to take them and put them away and put the other ones out so there are more. Mm -hmm. um, it's not every single one that I have because some are hiding in different places and I will find them <laughs> and I just don't know where. Um, Kelly, you're the history girl. Um, so the brief history of brief. Kelly <laughs> uh, is she was introduced in 1995 um, and she was kind of like the pet project of the Carol Spencer, right? Because mm -hmm. Carol Spencer right. worked on Kelly very intently before leaving Mattel. Um, so she was introduced in 1995. If you're outside of the U.S., you might have known her as Shelly, because uh, the releases back in the day um, outside the U.S. were Shelly dolls, not Kelly dolls. They kept them separated for some strange reason. Yeah, it was like a licensing thing, I think. Um, and the dolls were around until 2010, so they had, you know, a, a good number of years. And then eventually they were rebranded in 2011 as Chelsea, which is what we have on the shelves today. Uh, they have gone through a couple different changes. They started with the bodies that you'll see mostly here on the table. Well, they, with those guys. Like, well, the baby. So they kind of started like this. Um, where she definitely looks like a toddler, mm -hmm. like a young child, and then and in, she was in a crib, so she had a crib. I yeah, a crib is. And then in two thousand eight, they re they messed with the body a bit, and they made her longer. Yeah. So she looked a little older. Mm -hmm. She lost some of the cuteness, and she also like lost her neck somewhere in between there. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's true. She is like that. Her neck disappeared. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Um, uh, as for the character of Kelly, you may see uh, Kelly in the Midge and Allen wedding set. She was actually, the, 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 the doll in there, which was taller than all these Kellys, was dubbed Kelly. However, they eventually redubbed her Stacy. So the Stacy is what you really see in the Midge and Allen wedding set, even though she's called Kelly. Kelly. Because Mattel loves reusing names. And they love to complicate things. <laughs> so yeah, technically the first Kelly doll was in 92 with that set. But this is what people think of when they when you say Kelly. That's what I think of. Um, there is also another body change in there, which is lovingly called Lemonhead yes. Dolls, but we'll talk about that when we put some yeah. out. Yeah, uh, that was 2003. What else is there? Um, Kelly's friends include Tommy, Melody, Lorena. She has a bunch of friends that came out throughout the years. Um, so it's hard to pinpoint who is who exactly because some of the characters look alike and some of them change names and except Tommy because he's still the only boy yeah yeah Tommy <laughs> was the only boy so if you unless see a boy you do here. a character set unless you're in a character set um yeah but like let's see if there's we have the redhead which is generally Lorena over here uh, so the redhead's generally her Jenny mm -hmm. has the the bangs she's kind of like the cat girl here Oops. Mm -hmm. It's okay. She's a cat girl in this particular incarnation. Uh, Chelsea has freckles, so you'll see some dolls here with freckles. And that's probably a Chelsea. It's hard to tell, like we said, there isn't like a good guide. You can't just type in like, Kelly doll with red hair and like pigtails and find something. I, I probably <laughs> have it written on that early, um, Excel sheet that I was doing Probably. years and years and years and years ago. Um, yeah, but yeah, I that's like the, name. the very brief history. So yeah, around from 95 to 2010, and then in 2011 they were rebranded as this uh, Chelsea line. One of my favorite things is Target always came out with a Halloween set. Every year they'd come out with a Barbie and Ken one, or Barbie and Ken and the kids, or just the kids by themselves. So you'll see, we're ready for Halloween. Even if Halloween might not take place, mm -hmm. we do have all the Halloween ones. Um, they were in these little, cool little um, cylinder containers, but I finally decided 
those are so dusty and those were getting really fragile that I'd take them out. So that's why everybody's out and I always wanted to make a big giant haunted house set. That would be cool. With all the little trick-or-treaters walking through. They also made character dolls too. Yeah. So um, like the Lucy, I think they did a Lucy set, right? Yep. So and over then, here. Yeah, and then they did the Flintstones. Flintstones. Uh, Mickey Mouse. So oh. there's some other like cute character sets. Grease. Grease. Um, and um, they came out with play sets too. Uh, usually she always has a pony. So we've got mm -hmm. two with the pony. We had the dentist set that is one of the friends in. Um, the Tonkas, the, the Power Wheels. I love the Power Wheel sets. I thought those were so cute. Then you have the ones that have like a little kickboard and they're um, in the water. But there are, there are an overabundance of witch dolls if you want a witch. <laughs> they happen to do witches and jack-o'-lanterns a lot. My favorites are the ones usually that are in the Tommy mm -hmm. because you get cute characters on that. Yeah, like his vampire is actually really cute. You can see that there. And, and his air, airplane pilot is super cute. Oh, that's, that's one of my favorites. So much so that I have two. <laughs> Going through, I looked and I saw that I do have some duplicates and the alien, I have triplicates. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of odd. My favorite favorite in this grouping would be this girl. She's always been my favorite she's and cute. I see I have to do her rubber band again. Yeah, she has a cute face. She's a sweet face, and I always thought that was the, the fun thing about her. She looks so adorable. So that's the thing about Kelly's. They're just a fun size, and their faces were really cute, and they were like, their eyes were proportionate, I feel like. To, right, they did. To their face. They did. Yeah, they looked normal. Mm -hmm. and, and they did a lot of career series, when I grow up, I'm going to be this and that. Those are really cute series, too. Then they did a classic collection um, that you could use as ornaments also that has Barbie in her different incarnations. Um, you also have the one that came from the Princess, the Dancing Princess series. I don't have the part that shows how she can spin. Yeah, they're very heavy. You'd know if you had one. Yeah, they, they kind of fall down to the bottom <laughs> of the box. Um, this is another favorite of mine. This was from the 2004 National Barbie Convention when it was in Chicago. And um, this was one of our um, our table gifts. Yeah, she's cute. That our hostess gave us. And then that same year, they gave you an outfit that you could put on a uh, Skipper or is it Skipper or, or Stacy? Maybe it was Stacy. And then they gave you one for Kelly too Aww. that matched it. And they had one cute. for the Barbie. So those are the fun things. You just found a, a real cheap little doll, and you put, oh maybe she's so, maybe she's the one from the crib. She could be. She might be the one from the crib. And then I just changed her into the convention outfit because it's a cute little convention yeah. outfit. The original uh, Kelly doll was just like a, a baby. She was in yeah. a crib. Um, you know, she in a onesie. A, she was in a onesie. She definitely looked like a baby. And then for this line, they kind of like aged her up a little bit from there. Um, you also have things like the Nabisco um, graham crackers where they're all dressed like the little animals from the cracker box. What else do we have out here? Um, we lots have... of witches, lots of... Yeah. Alien's one of my favorites. She's cute. She is cute. Um, the genie one. Yeah, the genie's fun. They did a really good job on the outfits for these guys. She's falling down. Her tush is falling down there. I don't know if it's because they didn't need to use as much fabric or what. <laughs> Yeah, uh, adorable. Yeah, the elephants and the chickens, the ones that are dressed as animals are always kind of cute too. Um, yeah, that was the Russell Stover, the, the ones that are the bunnies. Mm -hmm. Those were for Easter. They used to come out, which is really nice. You, you don't get a lot of lines that did holidays and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, Barbie, she does Christmas, and she did Halloween. Easter sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. That, uh, some of the little supermarkets used to do it. She's pretty, too. Yeah, she's a pretty red hair, and I think the green outfit goes really well with it. And her hair is curled. So, this is the one set, and um, well, you can see there's some Oz ones there too. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I can't find Dorothy and her other two people. Um, it's got to be around here somewhere. I have, I have a Wizard of Oz collection. It's got to be there somewhere. Um, and these are young ones too that were part of the like the three set or the four set. Yeah, where they look a little different than what is on the table here. This one specifically looks a little different, but these are more like. Eh. 
the younger version of Kelly. Yeah, the toddler. Yeah, from like the Barbie sets that they released. And um, uh, this one, yeah, I'm just, that was, don't like it. No, yeah, I don't really like any of these where they just very the body. Just very cheaply made, very hollow. Yeah. Painted on leggings. Uh, yeah, that, I didn't like that one either. No. And that one I think was like in a Christmas stocking or something. The pink one because we do Christmas in pink. Yeah, it's, it's just super cheap. Yeah. But, I mean, the little ones I liked. I can't mm -hmm. remember which set they were. I, I know you probably had the set. But, like, this is a cute Christmas one. <laughs> and this is, like, California Christmas. Like Malibu Christmas. <laughs> Malibu Christmas. Um, but that's what we have here so far. So we're going to clean the slate and put some other dolls out so you can see those kind. Hi, everybody. We're back. And um, this is the second half of it. Like I said, it's not the complete. I'm sure there are some in other containers somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, but these are the rest. Um, you can see you have an assortment. Actually, I think she's my favorite. I have to fix her hair with the little green velveteen dress. She's definitely like ready for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And Very she's nice. got socks and shoes. I think that's why I like them, because they have shoes on and all my other ones are lost. <laughs> that's true. Oops, she fell on her bell. And then there's the other one, the cool, uh, the tea or the lemonade stand one. Where is she? Oh, I can't. Lemonade stand one. There she is. This is another one of my yeah, favorites. She's cute. I like her hair. Isn't she Very so vain. cute? And she has her picture for the lemonade still hooked to her. Hasn't fallen off yet. She's so adorable and I love so the, cute. the putzels on her. And I did have the third one from Dancing Princess. Mm -hmm, which you saw the other two in the other portion of the And the, the other one I couldn't find before. I know this little one pushes a, a baby carriage, a dolly carriage. That's in a different box, the carriage. But I can tell because her legs walk. And then Elvis is out here. Elvis has not left the building. He's <laughs> here. And then there's a Crayola line, which I only have one of. This is mm -hmm. um, Doctor. The um, snowman is cute. This Tommy is a snowman. Tommy is a snowman. It's cute. It's so funny. It's kind of like mm -hmm. putting him in the SpongeBob clothes. It totally is. Um, a bunch of angels the, and princesses. Because uh, when they did a movie, if there was a little princess, they would make a Kelly out mm -hmm. of it, and then or a friend, and well, her friends would be princesses, right? And then sell that, and then um, we have um, giving the porridge to the bear over there, Aww. which she's a pretty one. And then we have here on these circular things, lemon heads. Yeah, so lemon heads is a term that collectors gave them because the odd shape of their head. Everybody calls them lemon heads. Uh, so you look at the head and it looks round like a lemon. They came out in 2003 uh, and then they only lasted until like 2004 because people didn't really take to them. They were released, uh, I think more lemon heads were released in the UK than were here. We only had like maybe a set or two One of lemon heads. Of, uh, and that was Sweetsville. Yeah, the Sweetsville set. Uh, and then I, th I believe these were, were sold more in uh, more abroad than like anywhere else. That when you got me from Italy. Right. So yeah, collectors didn't really take to them. They weren't quite sure what Mattel was doing to their cute little Kelly. So there were a couple different lemon head lines. Sweetsville, Easter Tweets, Tea Party B-Day, Valentine's Little Darling, Happy Spring, and Sun Fun. But that was basically it. Some sets were released uh, in like a normal Kelly fashion and a lemon head fashion, which right. is interesting. So, the Sun Fun line had a lemon head Tommy, but also a, a normal Tommy. Mm -hmm. So, you can see the difference between these guys here. He does have his bongos, they're just put in another box. Yeah, so some lines, I don't think it was all of them, had have duplicates that look like normal Kellys. I think that's cute, it's like a little mini me. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind the lemon heads as much as the rest of the world, but uh, I think they're kind of cute. They definitely go with like the VHS, there was a VHS tape movie, mm -hmm. uh, I think it was 23 minutes, <laughs> something like that, mm -hmm. and uh, they they were the stars of it, so they fit 
they look like that, like mm -hmm. what their characters were, would look like. But they only lasted for a couple years, so if you are looking to get into Kelly's, but you don't want to like have to collect this whole back mm -hmm. catalog, just look for the Lemonhead Kelly's. And usually, if it's a collector selling it, you can just type in Lemonhead Kelly's and they'll pop up. <laughs> well, they, they have to still like the face. If you like mm -hmm. the face, it's, I mean, I yeah. think of it as a different line entirely, that it's not a Kelly, but it's the Sweetsville line. Mm -hmm. So if I think of it that way, I don't mind as much. Yeah. And we've got more over here, and there's like this little prince, and I forget what he had to do with anything. Yeah, it's just a cute, uh, like, more animated look to the Kellys. And then this one came from um, the Barbie Reeds. A story? Um, Ron, yeah. Barbie reads a story. Reading a book or something? Yeah. Um, with a, a big Barbie, but since she's the same size and she's what, basically she started out as Kelly, I brought her over too. So you might find her and wonder, what is this baby from? She's from a Barbie doll line. Yes. That Barbie was reading stories to the kids. And then you have a bunch of other things out. I the, don't know much about them. Oh, these are, um, these were dollar store ones. And they were Kelly's size, and they came in pairs, and I think she lost her, her brother. I think he broke. Aww. And then you have this set, so you've got these guys. So we have, like, Japan and China and France and Germany? England. One is England. England? Oh, is that England? I think so, yeah. That's England. Um, they were the right size to play with Kelly dolls and to go with Kelly yeah. land. And then this one is what you can find in the dollar store now. I mean, those we probably found 20 years ago. Uh, this is what they have at the dollar store now. And they have a, a big Barbie one too, the same kind of thing. I mean, she's not bad. It's just her choice of clothing isn't very expensive, mm -hmm. so. No. But um, when I had gone to the, the National Convention years and years and years ago, it was a time when Kelly dolls were really revered. So everybody had them and everybody talked about them. And, oh, did you get this set and did you get that set? <laughs> um, I know there's one set that I didn't get a little set, but um, like you said, I should look for it and I'll yeah. find it. But taking these all out, all the rubber bands have busted, so that's what I'll be doing today. <laughs> But yeah, there's so many Kellys you can collect, even if it's just you want to collect the Christmas Kellys or the Easter Kellys or the Kellys that are wearing animal outfits. <laughs> or put in their other names. Mm -hmm. Chelsea and Deidre. And, like, there's a bunch of different characters. But the international names too. Mm -hmm. And see, maybe something comes up that we didn't even get here. Yeah. And I know these came with a bunch of play sets and stuff, so right. it was all related to sweet, sweet, sweets. So if you yeah. want to get something for your sweet, there you go. But um, that's what I thought I'd show you, and um, that's it. That's it. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.